it is incredibly difficult to talk rationally about policy consequences when you have open borders propagandists in the media constantly smearing patriots as patriots and seizing control of the absolute moral authority card um, you know to confer um, essentially this um, you know, moral authority only on illegal aliens and their families at the expense of American families who've been separated. You know, that never ever comes up. Because at the end of the day, uh, we are so grateful for these women and their lives, and we wanted them to be seen as whole people. They're not perfect, they're not, you know, up on a mountain somewhere, they worked hard, they overcame obstacles, they're gutsy because they made it clear that they were following their dream, that they had a mission uh, in their lives, and it wasn't easy. And so we think that uh, those stories are good ones for us to share because we find them um, so inspirational. Having something to hide isn't uh, criminal. Having something to hide uh, isn't dangerous. The whole point of a privacy right is that you don't need something to hide to benefit from it. You don't need to justify a right or it isn't a right, it's a privilege. Uh, instead, it is the government, it is the state, it is the corporation, it is the intruder who needs to justify their violation of the right, their intrusion into your space, their intrusion into your life. Um, privacy is simply the thing that we used to call liberty. Lieutenant General Tom Keck Commander, Barksdale Air Force Base, Shreveport, Louisiana. We were in the midst of this big annual exercise called Global Guardian. They loaded all the bombers, put the submarines out to sea, put the ICBMs at nearly 100%. It was routine. We did it every year. A captain came in and said, sir, we have an aircraft that hit the World Trade Center. I started to correct him, saying, when you have an exercise input, you have to start by saying, I have an exercise input. That way it doesn't, get it doesn't get confused with the real world. Then he pointed me to the TV screens in the command center. You could see smoke pouring out of the building. Like everyone else in aviation that day, I said, how in a clear in a million day could a plane hit the World Trade Center?